Last year, they were pushed to their limits. Oh my God! They were pummeled, pounded, and pulverized by the gladiators. Was it worth it, pal? The contenders had it tough. But this time, with three new punishing events, six new gladiators, Come on, me. Who's next? two travelators, and the return of a legend. It's bigger. You'll be forgotten about before you even walk out the door. Badder and bolder than ever before. No glory! 24 mortal contenders face the fiercest gladiators ever. You just got now. They will then compete in the toughest assault course known to man in a bid to win a share of 50,000 pounds. In the end, just one man and one woman will be left standing to be crowned Gladiator Champion 2009. Gladiators is back. I sure have. And what are you looking forward to most on the show? Spartan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's meet the four contenders who have put themselves in line for a definite beatdown. Please welcome Rob, Steph, Mark and Justin! Tell me those contenders were a little bit frightened. They've got to be frightened. Okay, I might be the new kid on the block, but I am so excited to start the new series with my favourite four-letter word. It's Jewel! Jewel. 
Okay, let's meet our first female contender and check out her facts and stats. It's Ros Richards from Carefilly in Wales. This might not be her typical role, but this young lady is all set for a showdown. Hi, I'm Roz. I'm an actress and I'm from Caerphilly. My first role was on a, a Welsh soap opera called Paul Bullocum. Since then, I knew that acting was what I wanted to do. Laura was my fight buddy. I think Roz is going to kick butt in Gladiators and I think she'll go all the way. Yeah. I've been running since I was about eight years of age. All my family have been athletic. How proud are you? Oh, I'm very proud. She's our champion. The gladiator I would fear would be Panther. I've checked out her legs and I've seen how, how strong she is. I'm not terrified, but, you know, maybe a bit nervous, but all the same, we'll make you fight more. There'll be no acting tonight, gladiators. I'm seriously going to knock you all down. So, Rolls, the moment has finally arrived. You're at gladiators. How do you feel now? I'm actually very excited. Got butterflies, though, but that's natural. But I, I'm looking forward to this. OK, you're facing our biggest hitter, Panther! Yeah! She is the undisputed champion of duel, and she wants to keep it that way. The first duel of the series, and with Wolf looking on, Panther's under pressure to prove she hasn't lost her touch. Contender! New ref John Coyle gets proceedings underway. Straight off the mark and gets in a few good hits and Ross is off already. What a way for Panther to prove she's still the princess of the pugil stick. Can you get them up against Panther? Um, lucky Ros, you lasted three seconds. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough cookie, I must say. I have to be faster next time, wouldn't I? Okay. Absolutely. Okay, unlucky. You've got no points. Next up, trying to keep herself on dry land is Steph Owens from Buckley in North Wales. And to prove she has youth on her side is the youngest contender ever, Steph Owens. I'm a sports studio student and I live in Buckley, North Wales. I've been doing sports since the age of five. I kind of went through all the events, started throwing hammer, the rest is history. My boyfriend's a Paralympic javelin thrower. He's uh, called Nathan Stevens. When we train together, we always like shout at each other just to kind of get each other to give their best in training. It's always been a dream of mine to be on Gladiator since I was five or six. I'm sure she'll go out there and give it her best shot, and I'm sure that uh, she'll make me proud. My best event, I think, is going to be hit and run. I might be the youngest, but it doesn't mean that I'm the weakest. I may be small, but I know I can block, I know I can hit back, I know I can dodge. So I don't think we have any problems. Gladiators, I'm the youngest contender ever, but I can't wait to hammer you into an early retirement. Steph's just seen Panther give Roz a dressing down, but she's super confident tonight, so let's see if she can be the first contender to knock Panther contender. off her perch. Ready? Gladiator, ready? On guard. Three, two, one. Panther goes in with a few hard blows, but Steph's fighting back. Panther really giving her a pounding now. Panther could be losing her balance. Could there be a I'll shot push, here? A warning from new referee John Coyle. One last big hit, and Steph is off the podium. But didn't she put up a great fight? No points, but you put up a great fight. How did that feel? That was okay, actually. I was I thought I had her there. I thought you yeah, had her, yeah. She started leaning yeah. forward there. I knew I, knew I could have her. <laughs> 14 seconds, but no points, unfortunately. Okay, I'm lucky. Let's take a look at the girls' scores after two. First game of the series and zero points for the girls. The gladiators are back with a vengeance. <laughs> The girls have just been bashed and next up are the boys, but standing in their way is our king of the pugil stick. It's fun! Oh, Gladiators! Welcome back to the brand new series of Gladiators! We 
we've just seen the girls on Jewel, and next up is the boys. So let's meet the first contender, getting himself ready for some massive hits. It's Mark Mills from South Yorkshire. The heat is on for the gladiators. Mark is one contender who's too hot to handle. I'm a full-time firefighter in South Yorkshire. We're all really good friends and we get on like a house on fire. No pun intended. <laughs> I was born in West Africa originally. I ended up being in Yorkshire because my adopted parents were missionaries in West Africa and uh, I ended up coming back to England with them. Unfortunately, I lost my dad to cancer last year. And he's been not only an inspiration for me to do well in Gladiators, but an inspiration through my life, to be perfectly honest. When Mark is doing Gladiators, it's quite likely that he'll have it at the centre of him. I'm doing this for my dad. The Gladiators are intense. They train on these events daily. So I'm as confident as he can be. He really wants to prove to himself that he can win Gladiators and that he will be the champion. Gladiators, prepare to have your flames extinguished permanently. Mark, I've got to ask you firstly, are you in the zone here or are you in the zone up there? I'm a nice, friendly guy, but once it's fight time, it's fight time. Well, good luck, Mark. Go and get yourself ready while we look at Spartan stats. Spartan battled in 14 games of duel last series and lost just three of them. At only 5 foot 8 and weighing just 12 stone, Mark is already at a disadvantage here. Mark looking